Hello and welcome to our annual special festive edition of Web TV. It's that time of year again when we look back at the ultimate tech the year has brought us and select what would make any gadget fan's Christmas perfect. So let's get cracking with the top 50 gadgets for Christmas 2010. First up at 50, it's Suzy's number one kettle, this stainless steel Magimix. Its quick boiling speed and ultra efficiency makes it perfect for boiling up a festive brew on Christmas morning. As a kettle, I think it's the perfect all-rounder. In at 49, it's Jason, Suzy's Otis's and my favourite sexy gadget, the BMW Nautilus speakers. If you've got an endless budget this Christmas, you will not be disappointed. At 48, we've got the GoPro HD Hero, which came out top in Otis's test of action cameras on the bobsleigh track at San Moritz. The GoPro can shoot from standard up to full 1080p resolution, which was the setting we chose. The pictures were easily the clearest of the three cameras. <laughs> at number 47, it's the very reasonably priced Apple TV. Now, since I tested this for web TV, Apple have updated the firmware, and it now works a lot better still doesn't do a huge amount, but if you are part of Apple's ecosystem, it's a great way of streaming things from your iTunes library and renting the occasional movie. At 46, it's Pollyanna's, Otis's, mine, and the gadget public's coffee maker of choice, the Siemens EQ7. With its easy setup and truly amazing cups of coffee, it really does justify its high price. At 45, it's Jason's favourite inline skates, the Rems Happy 2.0. They're just like dancing shoes. I feel like I've got spats on. And these things are just great. At 44, it's this, the Sony BDP S470. With its amazing picture quality, reasonable price, and considering it's 3D ready and can connect to the likes of iPlayer, Love Film, and YouTube, makes it the ideal Blu-ray player if you want to stock up on those high-def movies this Christmas. In at 43, it's Suzy's and Home and Away star Rebecca Reed's gadget game of choice, the Revo Maze Classic Challenge. It's like yeah. cracking a bank vault. It really imagine. is. And at number 42, we've got the title that Jason chose as his favourite for his gaming on the move piece, the highly addictive tower defence game, Plants vs Zombies. At 41, it's the TRX Suspension Trainer, which tops Suzy's and Olympic champion Amy Williams' list of home fitness gadgets. You could have a full body workout in your own bedroom. Yeah, I think you don't need any other big machines. This has got everything. In at 40, it's Sony's motion controller, the PlayStation Move. The sort of more precise developed version of a Nintendo Wii controller, and it gives an added dimension to the PS3 for not much extra money. One of the best games to try it out on is this one Sports Champions. Have I killed you? <laughs> no, I've killed you. Ah! <laughs> Get in. In at 39, Susie recruited the help of three strapping firemen to help her decide which waterproof jacket could take the heat, or should I say the wet. And after some serious testing, the Mammoth Extreme Choi Oi topped the list with its good fit and amazing waterproof credentials. At 38, it's the winner of Jason's top five RC boats test, the Magic V. This is awesome! <laughs> I love it! At 37, it's the Parrot AR Drone, a remote-controlled helicopter with built-in Wi-Fi and two cameras all of which can be controlled by an iPod Touch, an iPhone and even an iPad. And now there's the option of an app that gives you a two-player game, which uses the onboard cameras on the drones to give you an augmented reality view and virtual weapons. Take that, Dion! <laughs> At 36, it's the excellent Canon EOS 60D digital SLR. This is the camera I used in my Versus challenge against award-winning filmmaker Will McGregor. It produces both amazing stills and superb quality video. And cut. That's actually quite good, you know. <laughs> number 35, it's Samsung's take on the tablet, the Galaxy Tab. It topped Susie and Pollyanna's list of Christmas presents, and I was pretty impressed with it when I reviewed it recently on web TV. I particularly liked the seven-inch screen form factor. It fits neatly between a smartphone and an iPad-sized device. I would like to see it a bit cheaper, though. 
At 34, it's James King's and my home cinema system of choice, the Panasonic SCBT200. With amazing pictures and good sound quality, it's perfect for watching those festive favourites. I think it's pretty sharp. I think that's a definite tick for the picture. Thumbs up. Yes, thumbs up. In at 33, it's the Wii with Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, with the Wii coming up to its fifth year, some people may think that the quality of titles would be sliding. Well, with the launch of Super Mario Galaxy 2 and with many more amazing titles due, such as The Legend of Zelda and The Skyward Sword, it looks like the Wii will keep both casual and hardcore gamers entertained for some time yet. At 32, it's the Sanyo Foot Massager. This came out top when I tried out a series of them with Hollyoak stars Melissa Walton and Kevin Saker. Perfect for post-Christmas dinner relaxation. At 31, it's the BMW Zeppelin. For the second time, this topped our top five iPod docks earlier this year with Susie and Phil Edridge from the Twang. And once you listen to it, it's easy to hear why. I actually am in lust with it. Oh, I'm, in, yeah. I'm in tech lust and with I see, that shape. I've seen you stroking. Yeah. Can I have you? No. At number 30, it's one of the most desirable, albeit also one of the priciest, small MP3 players you can buy, the new sixth generation iPod Nano. What's great about it, I think, is the way they've made the touchscreen interface work so well and so logically on a screen that's so small. It also sounds pretty good as well. At 29, it's the gadget show resident vocalist Otis Dealey's favorite singing game, SingStar for the PS3. Mr. Dooley was so good at it, he even gave the legendary Craig David a run for his money. Oh, man, only just! At number 28, it's the pocket camcorder that Polly and I voted our favourite while we were filming in Singapore, the Kodak PlaySport. Yes, it's waterproof up to three metres, shoots full 1080p, and as you can see, the picture quality is fabulous. At 27, it's the Panasonic PTAE 4000 projector, which I tested with legendary Sky Sports commentator Alan Parry. Nice sharp pictures, almost as though you were actually at the stadium. At number 26, it's one of the best laptops for doing demanding tasks like video or photo editing on the move. The 17-inch MacBook Pro now with Intel i5 or i7 processing power. It's perfect for creating your next masterpiece wherever the mood takes you. In at 25, it's the Gadget Show's favourite sat-nav, the TomTom Go Live 1000. At number 24, it's Rock Band 3. Now, the Rock Band series has been a personal favourite of mine for some time now, and it seems to get better and better with each iteration. And Rock Band 3 is no exception. Now get the option of pro instruments, a guitar with actual strings, a keyboard in the shape of a 25-key guitar, so you can now actually try and play the music as the original band intended. Desperately unsuccessful in my case. Ooh. In at 23, it's the hydrogen-powered RC car, the H-Cell 2.0. Check it out, Susie. Hey, it's, it's pretty nippy. Like. Isn't it fantastic when you think about the scope for hydrogen-powered toys? It's absolutely incredible. In at 22, it's Jason's top toy for 2010, the Rip Rider 360. Woo! Look out, this is... At number 21, it's the PS3 and the latest version of the best driving game in the world for car enthusiasts, Gran Turismo 5. With over a thousand cars and over 70 tracks, most of them in glorious loving detail and the best car feel, I think, of any driving game, it's a great reason for buying a PS3 this Christmas. At number 20 is the Rock Rider mountain bike. This wiped the floor with the competition when Jason tested a series of other affordable mountain bikes with bike experts, the Wrecking Crew. At 19, it's Pollyanna's top gadget bag, the Tech Air 4503. At number 18, it's the latest solar-powered radio from Roberts, the Solar Dab 2. This version adds FM as well as DAB and runs on standard-sized AA batteries. At 17, it's my number one photo printer, the all-in-one Kodak ESP3250, which I judged with world-class photographer Martin Brent. At number 16, it's the latest heli mission, the Heli Racer. 
Yes, last year this topped our list of top five toys and now it's even better with its all new slim down car design and that familiar concealed remote controlled helicopter just waiting to escape. <laughs> At 15 it's Polly's and my top in-ear headphones, the Monster Turbine Pros. At number 14 it's Nintendo's handheld console, the DSi XL. Now, with a larger screen, it makes for a much more enjoyable gameplay experience. At number 13, it's Sony's NEX5. When I went to Disneyland Paris with Pollyanna to test compact cameras with interchangeable lenses, this came out the top. Dion, show us your festive bits. At 12, it's my current favourite e-reader, the latest Amazon Kindle. It's very easy to download your books onto it. It's got a very clear screen. And if you're thinking of going away this Christmas, you can take more books than you could ever possibly read without going anywhere near your airline's suitcase weight limit. At 11, it's Panasonic's brilliant TM700 HD camcorder. It's very versatile and it produces video of such high quality we could use it to film the Gadget Show studio for our TV takeover challenge. To the top 10 now and in the number 10 spot is what I feel is the best console to get this Christmas, the Xbox 360. With its new slim down size, quieter running and reasonable starting price of £150, I don't think anybody would be disappointed to find this beauty underneath their tree this Christmas. At number 9, it's the best 3D TV I've tried this year. This TXP50 VT20B from Panasonic. The response times of the 50-inch plasma screen are so fast that it uh, synchronises perfectly with Panasonic's active 3D glasses. You get a very strong 3D effect with plenty of detail and no ghosting. Pretty good. In at number 8, it's this, the Jambox portable speaker from Jawbone. It's Bluetooth compatible, so it will connect wirelessly to your mobile phone, or you can just hardwire it directly into your audio device. And as you can hear, the sound quality is pretty awesome. Very good. And at number 7, it's the iPhone 4. Still, overall, the best smartphone in the world. Now with an improved higher definition display and a better camera and high definition video. At number six, it's the Bose QC15s that came out top in my noise-cancelling headphone test in Italy. Now, all noise-cancelling headphones are a bit of a compromise, but these are a very good one with excellent noise isolation and pretty good sound quality. In at number five, it's the game that topped Jason's recent list of blockbuster games. It is, of course, Call of Duty Black Ops. Visually, it's stunning. There's lots of action coming at you from all around. And they, that's what happens, you see, when you're too busy talking, you get a grenade in your face. I guess it goes with the job. At number four, it's the Acer Aspire 1 D260, which came top in Susie's budget netbooks test. This is <laughs> the nuts book. <laughs> And number three, it's Sony's WX5 compact camera. With its five times zoom, it produces excellent quality stills. It's also got Sony's fun sweet panorama mode. But best of all, it produces excellent quality video, some of the best I've ever seen on a compact camera. Also, a very good sound. Dion, say hello. Hello. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Number two, it's the iPad, undoubtedly the most talked about gadget of the year, the one that suddenly made tablet computing fashionable after so many years in the doldrums. I think few people wouldn't be happy to receive an iPad at Christmas. However, if you are thinking of giving one away, do bear in mind that there is a new, much improved model expected in the spring. us this year, it is the revolutionary Xbox Connect. It's set to revolutionise the way we play games and possibly a whole load of other interfaces as well. It's that good. <laughs> well, that's it for our Top 50 Christmas Rundown. I can't wait to see what 2011 will bring. We'll be back next week with normal web TV. In the meantime, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ooh.